Welcome to Specific Live. This is the 28th edition of 10 Life Hacks with PVC. Let's begin. Now, if you do a lot of composting, here's a great way to improve this process so you can get that garden going faster. Now, I have a piece of one inch PVC pipe here that I've drilled a bunch of holes into. And if you look at it, there's no particular order to it. All you need is a bunch of holes, randomly, however you want. Now, this will allow air to get in both ends, and that way it'll allow more oxygen to get to that center of the pile where it's hard to get to. Now I'm going to use this basket as an example. You want to insert the pipe roughly in the center of your pile and that will allow that air and oxygen to get in there. Now that is a great way to help improve the speed and the efficiency of your composting pile so you can get it back to your garden and have those great foods. Alright here's a great way to use some PVC pipe to make a cool little cart. I'm using a total of 8 elbows in the corners. I have a total of 14 T connectors and two cross connectors, or four ways, however you like to say it. Now, I'm using a bunch of different cross patterns here, and you can change this up to whatever you want. I have a T up here in the front and a T up here to make the handle. I did use a coupler here, but that's just so you can, I can adjust this length to whatever I want and just make it to my fashion. Now for the wheels, I just had some heavy duty wheels. You can use about any type of wheels you want, but make sure they have a little give to them because that way it'll climb and go over items you need. On the front here, I'm using some thin pipe and I got four on the total, two on the front, two on the back, and I actually have these screwed in. The reason why is that gives a little extra strength, but it also allows you to put stuff in maybe like a fishing pole, or maybe just some small yard tools if that's what you're using. For the center here for a base, you can always use maybe some PVC lattice board or just put some real thin plywood and that'll give it strength down here, especially with these crosses going across. And that's just a great way to make a simple little car. Now here's a great little director's chair for one of your child's stuffed animals. This is actually pretty simple. I got a cross here. I'm using a total of six T's, three on each side. I have two 45 degree elbows and a 90 degree elbow. I also have an end cap up here. Now this is real simple because it creates a little seat just using the T's with a couple pipes going across and to the top it just strapped across. Now you don't have to use anything fancy for the material. This is actually just a shop rag that has some safety pins in the top and the bottom just to hold it in place. And of course everything in between you're just going to have to measure out and get it to the size and dimension that you would like. Of course this is very simple. You just take a little animal, get it in place, and there you go. It's a great little director's chair for your children. Normally when you're using a drill press, it makes a big mess because it's not an easy way to have a dust collection system. That is, until now. Now let me show you the before. And here's my solution. I'm using a PVC elbow with a little extension of pipe here and I'm attached it to a really big magnet that I attach right to the side of the post and it'll sit right next to the blade. Now here's a little closer view of the setup. Very simple, very easy, and I hope you can use it one day too. And one really cool thing you can do with PVC pipe is actually make a wall lamp, or in this case, a hanging lamp. Now you can turn this into a desk lamp or whatever you want. There is one thing you need to be careful if you're gonna do this configuration is the bulb. You need to make sure it is a very low temperature LED type bulb and it does not get hot because you don't wanna accidentally burn the PVC. Otherwise, with all the different joints and configurations that you can do, I've seen everything from Spider-Man to Super Mario Brothers, your imagination can be basically unlimited. So why don't you go out and make a really cool lamp? Now, if you want to see how I made this, I built this in a previous video, and I'll put a link to that in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Now here's a great way to use some large diameter pipe. You want to secure this and have it where it's fully sealed on the bottom, and you can turn this into like a staining tube. Say you're doing a bunch of table legs, and you can dip it down in there and stain it really quickly, and that way not only will it get into the grooves here, you don't have to sit here and paint on and paint on with the brush and take for a long time. And then you just set this up and let it dry. This can also double as a cooling tube. If you do a lot of metal work, maybe you're making swords or knives, you get done hammering it out, cool it down in there very quickly. And this is a great way that you can keep this up out of the way, maybe against the wall or just against a bench like I have here, so that it is easy access, but it is small, tight, and won't get in your way. 
I was recently at the World Maker Fair in New York, and as I was searching through, I found this young man who was putting together some PVC pipe and some measuring tape. So I stopped and had to ask him what it was. He said he was using it to make some homemade antennas for his ham radio. He just used a measuring tape, he put it across all the T's and the crosses, and he strap them in with some zip ties, you wire everything up, and it works great. Well, here's a great way you can use a PVC pipe to make an antenna. Who knew? Now, if you have small kids, going up some stairs and grabbing the railing can sometimes be a little bit hard to do because they're reaching up really high to grab it, and they just do not feel very secure. Well, here's a great way to use some PVC, a carabiner, and some paracord to fix that. I have some PVC. This happens to be one inch. You can use whatever size you want, but the bigger is stronger, a little more sturdy. I drilled a hole through it. I tied on some paracord and have a couple carabiners. Now the carabiners just simply clip over your standard holders here and it holds everything nice and secure. Now there's a great way to give some kids an added safety and security when going up the stairs. Now whenever I'm using a speaker on my phone, well it's pretty good and pretty loud, but when I'm sometimes when I'm on the other side of the shop, well it's just not loud enough. Now, I've seen uh, where people have made, uh, I guess, like cups and plastic little things that break real easy that you can slide your phone into and it just amplifies the sound. Now, I've seen it where you can spend some real expensive money on some nice wood crafted versions and I'm sure they're really, really nice. But here's a cheap and easy way to do it. For a two, three dollar, four inch sewage and drainer T, your phone, should be able to slide right inside. You set this on whether it's your counter, your desk, your table, whatever it is, and it will help amplify the sound. Let me show you. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Now, if you're anything like my family and you haven't been able to get to the laundry this week, well, you're gonna have a bunch of hangers everywhere. Now, here's a great way that not only you can store your extra hangers, but you can carry them to wherever you're going to do the laundry. Now, here I'm using all half inch PVC pipe and fittings. I first started at the bottom here using a T and runs out to make some legs and just some end caps for some extra stability. I'm running up to a 90 degree, over to a second 90 degree, and another foot at the bottom. Now, when building this, you want to make sure that it is just just slightly narrower than the hangers that you're going to be putting on it and that will allow it to not only hold the hangers pretty well but not let them flop around and just get in the way. Now once you have a bunch of hangers on here and you're about to do your laundry you can easily pick them all up with this nice little handle and take them to wherever you need to do your laundry. Now if you like this video please click the like button. Tell us what you think about it in the comments. Also I want to put a link to the playlist of all the other PVC life hacks right over here so make sure you check those out. Otherwise have fun building.